All right, yo, Anita Baker, your favorite. Uh, don't do her. Don't do my, Anita don't do my Baker. auntie. Oh, mean ass Anita Baker. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Made the executive decision to remove Babyface from the Songstress tour due to her receiving cyber threats from Babyface's fans. Mm. Anita tweeted, in the interest of personal safety, I will continue the Songstress tour alone without Babyface. Appropriate refunds will be made. This decision comes days after Anita asked Babyface to tame his fans online. How do you do that? Do you think Anita made the right decision? Al, I got to throw it to Funky first because you know that's his girl. He be defending uh, uh, her. He don't want to hear nothing negative about his auntie, but I'm seeing the shade here. Come on, Q. Come on. You know what? So here's the thing, right? All things constant, regardless of fault, they were not getting along. It, it, it's beyond obvious that something was going on and they were not getting along. And like I said, regardless of fault, if we're not getting along and it's creating too bumpy of a road, then you know what? Let's split up. Babyface is worth $400 million. Anita says $20 million. He definitely doesn't need the money. People were already arguing that he was the bigger star, this, that, and the third, so on and so forth. So Babyface being removed from the tour is not like he's some up-and-coming artist and it's going to hurt their future chances or their revenue. I think in the interest of keeping peace, if the, the duo was causing too much stress for both parties, then I think it probably was in the best interest to just cut ties. Before I go to Al, Al, I wanted to add this to the story. Babyface finally responded after Anita Baker removed him from the tour. He posted, it's unfortunate and disheartening to see how things, come on, Prompter, come on, Prompter, don't sabotage us. It's unfortunate and disheartening to see how things have played out via social media. While I was looking forward to the rest of the dates, I have nothing but love and respect for Anita, and I wish her the best for the remainder of her tour. What do you think about that, Al? You read between the lines here. What you think? <laughs> Definitely between the lines. And you know, Funky can 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 love Miss Anita, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Miss, this is just Anita being Anita. And the worst part about this is, guys, this is not fair to the fans. Uh, people went out and got that ticket because it was Babyface and Anita Baker. So to take that experience away from them is simply disheartening. And it's not what you signed up for, even if she's offering some type of discount. But how does she know what the discount could be? Because maybe I bought my ticket because I wanted to see Babyface more than Anita Baker. Now, the other part of this that I thought was interesting was Anita Baker, all she wanted Babyface to do, in my opinion, was get to say something to his fans. And because he did not do what she said, being the diva that she is, she shuts the whole thing down, throws him off the tour, and issues uh, refunds. It, it would have costed, costed him nothing to do it, though. To do what? She, say, y'all, Anita is not the... Anita, she wanted him to say that... She was not the reason that he was unable to do his sets or whatever the case may be. And for whatever reason, he did not. It would have no, no, no. I thought, him. I thought I thought that this argument was about um, I thought that this argument was about uh, him being behind her or a second. It, like, what do you call right. it? It, it? It stemmed from what started in Jersey with uh -huh. him being unable to perform and then it kept going. Was he supporting? Was he a co-headliner? Then, you know, all that ego and stuff got in the way. Right. To your point. So I wouldn't they, have, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have said anything either. To your point. But you so can she, clearly see they having problems, like you said. Right. But why not? It cost, it, you know, it, it cost you zero to tweet and you lost everything by being kicked off the tour. We got to go to commercial, so my bad, but go ahead. Unless, <laughs> unless that's not really the truth and Babyface was like, I can't say that because that's not really what, what, what went down. And maybe he, by him not tweeting, he kind of protected Anita. Mm. Ooh, this, I wish they had cameras. Really this, could, this could have been on Zeus. 